for a while now, I've always wanted a nice modern kit of the regular GM, but now that dream has finally come true. How's it going guys? It is Plastic Disaster doing another review while the air conditioning is running in the background because it is hot here in Florida. So today we're going to take a look at the HG Gun of the Origin GM Shoulder Cannon and Missile Pod. Comes for the line of Mobile Suit Discovery now. I barely remember what's the idea of Mobile Suit Discovery. Maybe it's like their version of Mobile Suit Variations. Correct me if I'm wrong. Hey, we're here to see what this kit is all about. So taking a look at the box side, we see a squad of GMs with different weapon equipment. Take a look at this side of the box, we see the GM in nice action poses, the weapon layout, and it looks like we're going to be in for the treat. Rocket stickers, it shows the shoulder cannon, bazooka, and the beam spray gun, the early type version. And moving on to this side of the box, we see the front and rear shot of the kit, and it shows that you can do the shoulder cannon or the missile pod, and a nice CG render of the uh, GMs. So after cracking up the box, we got three bags of runners and a manual. In the cover of the manual, we see a familiar box art, and right down here, it just gives you information of the GM and the spec. So if you guys want to read, feel free to pause and do so. Take the parts list, and it looks like we're gonna have a few leftover parts. Checking the back of the manual, we see the GM in nice uh, action poses and some information of the weapons. Right down here is where you place the market stickers and a color guide if you're planning on painting it. Starting off with runner A, we're gonna have a multicolored runner. Got some white with the hint of green, some clear green, yellow, and red. B is going to be the uh, gray joint parts. The C is going to be the gray weapon parts. Two runner Ds and runner E1, they're going to be more of the uh, white uh, minty green parts. And there is no runner E2, so something tells me there's gonna be a uh, variation. Runner H is going to be the uh, shoulder cannon parts. Polycap runner beam saber effect parts. And finally, a marking sticker sheet and a uh, color correcting sticker sheet. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I think we all know where this is going. So that's gonna be it for the unboxing portion of the video. And I'm really excited to put this kit together. Now, I never built the uh, old school HGUC GM kit, but if you guys have, uh, let me know down in the comments and tell me your experience about it. So I'm gonna put this together right now and I'll see you guys right after. Here's the kit all put together. Now, if you guys built the origin version of the RX-78 II, it's gonna be very similar, but very few differences. So the examples would be the little yellow piece right here on the crotch, that's a separate piece, and the shoulders. As for seam lines, everything is pretty well hidden. The one thing that may bother you a bit will be the one on the side of the head. And maybe the forearms too, but it could go as a panel line detail and maybe the lower part of the back legs. Moving on to stickers, number one is gonna go onto the forehead and number two right here, that is gonna go onto the back of the head. This gray sticker right here goes onto this part of the torso, but I don't know why you need that because that area is already gray. These stickers right here, they go onto the elbows. Moving on to the legs, number five, they go on to the knees, and number six, they go on to the ankles. All of these little red stickers, they go on to these gray circles so it can make a little missile pod, but you can easily paint them instead with just a little red paint. This yellow circle goes on to this part of the bazooka. This little sticker right here, number seven, it goes right in here. As for this sticker right here, well, I don't know where it goes. Maybe you guys can help me out in the comments below. All right, so moving on to accessories, starting off with the familiar ones. So for hand options, we have the uh, weapon holding hands, open palm hands, two trigger finger hands, a beam rifle early type, bazooka and the adapter piece, shoulder cannon, the wrist mounted weapon or the uh, normal wrist part, beam saber handles that goes onto the backpack and beam saber effect parts. And speaking of the beam saber handles, you do get this new adapter piece which plugs onto the back of the waist. 
is this piece and I already plugged in the uh, beam saber handles and once again it plugs into the back skirt. Moving on to the new parts, you get the beam spray gun and another beam spray gun. This is the early type and I kind of like the design of this one a little more. You have the shoulder pods which plugs into the backpack. You also have a rotation right here and this plug right here which means there's another rotation. Except you have two more of these little missile pods which plugs in onto the side skirts. Finally you have the GM shield and if you look into the back it works very similar as the uh, Gundam origin version. I'm going to skip over the articulation for this one because it's pretty much the same as the uh, Origin Gundam. However, I will talk some differences like this little gray piece right here on the shoulder or the thruster, it moves up and down and moving on to the backpack, the Gundam has two thrusters, this has five. You got ball joint here, ball joint here, ball joint and these ones on the side are in a fixed position. Overall, like the HG Orchard Gundam, the articulation on this kit is really great. You can pull off some really sick dynamic poses, especially with like brand new weapons. I can see some cool stuff out of it. As comparisons, here it is right next to the Gundam and as you can see, they're both the same standard mobile suit height. Finally, here it is right next to Ratchet and SD Gundam and LEGO C3PO. So that's gonna be it for the size comparisons. Let's move on to my final thoughts. Moving on to my final thoughts. Overall, really solid kit. I'm really glad they made this kit and the fact that they went an extra mile to give it extra weapons, even better. Also great for army building, so you can create your own custom GM and I can imagine like you guys is, you know, giving it like different like equipments or giving it like a nice paint job or making like an ace gm whatever you want one thing that does kind of bother me a bit is that it doesn't come with like the original front skirt gms like you know what i mean the one that looks like it has like two pieces uh, i'll show you the picture if you so you guys can get what i mean in the end pick this kit up you can have so much fun with it so that's gonna be it for the review thank you guys so much for watching if you guys are new here be sure to subscribe if you want to see more content like this any questions concerns comment down below i'll see you guys in the next video just for a quick bonus second i want to show you guys that it is compatible with the origin rx78 uh, i give it the um, the early type beam spray gun and since the gundam comes with the shoulder cannon as well as the gm i gave it two and it looks pretty badass